and welcome back. So now I'm going to find the equation of a line given a point and an equation. Okay, so let's say you're given this point here. 3, negative 6. And an equation, this means and, an equation like 2x minus uh, 4y is equal to 18. Okay, so what you want to do is isolate the y on this side so that way you get the slope. And then you plug the slope and this point into the point slope equation. So let's isolate the y here. So we'll subtract 2x from both sides so you get negative 4y is equal to negative 2x plus 18. I write the x part first. So now I'm going to divide by negative 4. This cancels with this. And the negatives cancel out here. And this becomes just negative. So I have y is equal to 2 fourths is 1 half x minus 18 over 4 can be simplified dividing by 2 on the top and the bottom which will be 9 halves okay so my slope here is going to be 1 half so now I'm going to plug this point and this slope into the point slope equation so y minus y1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x1 Okay, so let me label this x1, y1. It's really not important to do that, but this is the point you're going to use. So let's go ahead and draw our three arrows here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and make this m blue in case you haven't seen some of the other videos and you're only watching this one. Then this is the slope. Okay, so you plug this into here. And if there's anything here you don't understand, I have a detailed instruction video um, called uh, Finding the Equation of a Line, but detailed, so you should look for that. Anyway, so what we're going to do is bring down our y, bring down our minus sign. Our y here is going to be negative 6 and equal to, and we're going to plug in the slope, which is 1 half, and times the quantity x minus, our x is going to be 3. And y minus negative 6 is actually y plus 6, which is equal to, distribute the 1 half, so you get 1 half x minus 1 half times 3, which is 3 halves. And I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides, so I get y is equal to 1 half x minus 3 halves minus 6. So I want to change that 6 to something with a denominator of 2. So I go ahead and multiply top and bottom by 2. This will give me a 12. So my final answer will be y is equal to 1 half x minus and I subtract it on both, so that means I'm going to be adding negative 3 and negative 12, which will be negative 15. And that's over 2. And this is my final answer. Okay, so I'll do one more. Let's say I have the point negative 5, negative 9, and the equation 6x plus 4y is equal to 5. Okay, so isolate the y here, so I get 4y is equal to, subtracting 6x gives me negative 6x plus 5, and divide by 4, and that cancels with this and I get y is equal to negative 6 over 4 simplifies to negative 3 halves so minus 3 halves x plus 5 fourths so here my m is going to be equal to negative 3 halves and now I plug my point and my slope into the point slope equation 
So we'll label this x1, y1, and we'll write the equation down y minus y1 is equal to m is equal to m times the quantity x minus x1. Okay, so we'll write our arrows to signify where we're going to replace uh, numbers or we're going to replace. So now we write down our arrows on the variables that we're going to replace with numbers and we just start copying stuff down. So y minus y1 here is going to be negative 9 and my slope which is negative 3 halves times the quantity x minus and bring down my x1 which is negative 5. Okay, so y minus negative 9 is actually y plus 9 is equal to negative 3 halves times x, which is negative 3 halves x, and negative 3 halves times all this right here. Well, first of all, two negatives make a positive, so it's actually x plus 5. So negative 3 halves times 5 is going to be negative 15 halves. And we're going to subtract 9 from both sides, and we get y is equal to negative 3 halves x minus 15 halves minus 9. So we want that 9 to be something with a denominator of 2. So we're going to change it into a fraction with a denominator of 2. So we'll multiply 9 times 2 over 2. And 9 times 2 is 18. So we'll have y is equal to negative 3 halves x. So negative 15 minus 18 is the same as adding negative 15 and negative 18. So what we'll get is negative 33 over 2. And that's our final answer. So I hope this helped. And be sure to check some of the other videos that I have. And thank you for watching.